Hi guys, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to install WordPress locally to your computer. Installing something locally basically means installing it onto your computer using your computer as a temporary server. This is great when you have a dodgy internet connection or you already have a website up and running and you don't want any downtime while you're designing it. Now there are two ways you can do this, the hard way or the easy way. The hard way will require you to download this WAMP server to your computer and to go through all of these numerous options. Now there are tutorials online, you can go to WP Beginner which is a great website and you can learn about how to install um, WordPress locally using WAMP. But there is a piece of software that I found recently called Instant WP and it does exactly what it says in the title. It gives you instant WordPress at the click of a button and you can have as many installations of WordPress your PC can manage. But enough talk, let's actually get down to installing this bad boy. The first step is to make sure you have enough space on your computer to install the files. Now, the actual file sizes are not that big, but once you start developing your site, you may end up using more space than you know. The next step is to download Instant WP. Luckily, this program is free. We want to download this to our desktop. Once downloaded, install the program. Here is where it will ask you where to install it. Now, the great thing is it could be portable. So if you have a USB key or an external hard drive, you can install the program on it and it will go wherever you go. But just make sure that you keep the base program, the installation program, make sure you keep that on your desktop because if you want to run another installation of WordPress you're going to have to rerun this whole thing again but you can save it in a different folder. Right now I'm just going to save it on my external hard drive under a folder called local. Once installed, you want to locate the folder that you installed the program on. Remember, I called it local, so I'm going to navigate to local now. And now you want to run this extension. What you're seeing here is the Instant WordPress control panel. Here you can look at the front page of the website, your website admin location, the plugins folder, the themes folder. You can even take a look at your database. The great thing about installing it locally is that you don't have to worry about downloading and transferring the files via FTP all the time because you could just move it from one folder to another. Here is the site URL. Doesn't look familiar, I know, because it's located on your computer. And what you can do is you can copy this and you can paste this into your browser and it will show up like any normal WordPress website. Let's have a look. See, there it is. Perfect. Okay, now let's go and log in. Here you can log in using the credentials written as admin and password though when you go to deploy your site i.e when you go to move it to the proper location where it's meant to be you would probably want to change this because a lot of people like to hack using those credentials this is a proper running version of wordpress that functions the same way as any wordpress installation but unfortunately this version of wordpress is old and so are the themes i suspect so let's update that now Now that we have our WordPress installation up to date, we can begin editing, adding themes, adding plugins, doing whatever the hell we like to it. But 
you must remember that this is a locally installed WordPress website. So nobody else can actually see it. Only you can see it because it's on your computer. We're going to learn a little bit later to move it from your local environment to a public server. But don't worry, it's going to be very easy and I'm going to be there to hold your hand. Okay. 